the Scout family of rockets were American launch vehicles designed to place small satellites into orbit around the Earth. The Scout multi-stage rocket was the first orbital launch vehicle to be entirely composed of solid fuel stages. The original Scout was designed in 1957 at the NACA, at Langley Center. Scout launch vehicles were used from 1961 until 1994. The first successful orbital launch of a Scout, on February 16, 1961, delivered Explorer 9, a 7-kilogram satellite used for atmospheric density studies, into orbit. The final launch of a Scout, using a Scout G-1, was on May 8, 1994 from Vandenberg Air Force Base. The standard Scout launch vehicle was a solid propellant, four-stage booster system, approximately 23 meters in length with a launch weight of 21,499 kilograms. The Scout A was used for launches of the Transit NNSS series, placing two satellites in orbit at the same time. Vacuum thrust, 22.24 kilonewtons. Burn time, 28 s. Diameter, 0.64 meters. Span, 0.64 meters. Length, 2.53 meters. In the late 1950s, NASA established the Scout program to develop a multi-stage solid propellant space booster and research rocket. The U.S. Air Force also participated in the program, but different requirements led to some divergence in the development of NASA and USAF Scouts. Scout's first stage motor was based on an earlier version of the Navy's Polaris missile motor, the second stage motor was developed from the Army's Sergeant surface-to-surface -surface missile, and the third and fourth stage motors were adapted by NASA's Langley Research Center, Hampton, Virginia, from the Navy's Vanguard missile. Unlike the Thor or Atlas Agena, the Scout was non-military and could be sold to foreign customers. Three more San Marco satellites would use Scout rockets. Italy-owned San Marco platform launched in 1967 to 1984 Scout rockets only. Transit Satellites, a prototype satellite Transit 5A was launched the 19th of December 1962 by a Scout X3. On four different flights, Scout rockets placed two transit satellites in orbit with a single launch. The last of these, on the 25th of August 1988, launched Transit 031 and Transit 025 on a Scout G rocket. Miniature Sensor Technology Integration Series 2, launched into low Earth orbit on 8 May 1994 local time aboard the last NASA Scout booster. The Scout X-1 first flew successfully on 10 October 1960, after an earlier failure in July 1960. The Scout X-2 which in 1962 introduced the Algol 1D and Antares IIB stage upgrades. On 23 August 1962 a Scout X-2 was used for the first successful launch of a DMSP satellite, lifting off from Point Arguello near Vandenberg Air Force Base. The Scout X-3 which in 1963 introduced the Algol IIA upgrade. The Scout X-4 which in 1963 introduced Altair II upgrade. The Scout A-1 and B-1 which in 1965 introduced the Castor IIA and Altair III upgrades, respectively. The Scout D-1 which in 1972 introduced the Algol III upgrade. The Scout G-1 flew from 1974 until the Scout's retirement in 1994. The prime contractor for the NASA Scout was LTV, but the Blue Scout prime contractor was Ford Aeronutronics. One of these was the XRM-89 Blue Scout I, which was a three-stage vehicle, using Castor II and an Antares 1A stages, but omitting the basic Scout's Altair fourth stage. The only other XRM-89 launches were unsuccessful, and the Blue Scout I program was terminated in 1962. Externally, the XRM-90 was indistinguishable from the XRM-89 Blue Scout I. The first XRM-90 launch occurred although the Blue Scout Jr. had sufficient impulse to have put a small satellite in low Earth orbit, it was not used as an orbital launch vehicle. The XRM-91 did not resemble the other Scout variants externally, because the usual first Scout stage was not used. Instead, the four-stage Blue Scout Jr. used Scout's second and third stages as the first two stages, and added an Aerojet General Alcor and a spherical knot Cetus in a common nose fairing. The XRM-91 also lacked the Euro stabilization and guidance system of the ERM-89 Blue Scout I and ERM-90 Blue Scout II, making it a completely unguided rocket. The first launch of an XRM-91 occurred on September 21, 1960, making it actually the first Blue Scout configuration to fly. The Blue Scout Jr. was regarded by the USAF as the most useful of the various Blue Scout configurations. NASA used a three-stage Blue Scout Jr. configuration as the Ram-B. The Italian Space Research Program began in 1959 with the creation of the CRA at the University of Rome. 
The Italian launch team was trained by NASA. The San Marco project was focused on the launching of scientific satellites by scout rockets from a mobile rigid platform located close to the equator.